Hello. As a teacher and as a psychiatrist, I am convinced that anyone can learn to present well. The time-honored four P's formula, which I am going to introduce, will help you master essential presentation skills within minutes. But first, please subscribe to my channel for more videos. The four P's stand for planning, preparation, practice and performance. Let's describe them each. As soon as you know about your presentation, start planning either in your head or on a piece of paper. First, identify the core message. Knowing and limiting yourself to the scope of the presentation is absolutely essential. Trying to cover everything is a recipe for failure. Remember, less is more. Know your audience and their level of expertise to tailor your presentation to their needs and expectations. Assess your knowledge to see if any areas need revision. Knowing the core message, your audience and your level of understanding allows you to prepare effectively. Having enough knowledge of the topic is essential. How much study you need to do depends on the topic itself. Academic presentations usually require more book work and research. Begin by searching online. To get a hang of the topic, skim through Wikipedia or similar websites before moving to more formal sources such as textbooks or scientific journals. Seek others' advice if feasible. Armed with the requisite knowledge, now it's time to devise a winning strategy. Several techniques may be employed. I will mention five that I find most useful. Well begun is half done. Use your introduction to engage attention, stimulate interest and give a roadmap or outline of the talk. Remember, A, I, R, attention, interest and roadmap. Why should I listen is the unconscious question on your audience's mind and you must answer it right in the start by stating what the issue is, why it's important and how you are going to tackle it. Creating an exigency and offering a solution is the chief way of exciting interest. The Homo sapiens prefers order to things. Music sounds pleasant only because the notes are arranged in a certain order. Changing that order even by a single note can turn a melody or symphony into jarring noise. Presentation likewise need to be well structured to be effective. Give information logically and people will understand it easily. Repetitions may be necessary if the subject is too dense. Humans are fascinated by stories. Almost all best-selling books, including divine scriptures, are story-based. If you want to enchant your audience, you must learn to put the spin of a story on your talks. Frame your presentation into a narrative or at least spice it up with a little story here and there. Inject a healthy amount of emotion, especially humor, into your talk. An expressionless face can seldom give a positive response. Finally, do something unique to be memorable. Anything, but please don't overdo it, like that lady the other day who tried to explain the startle response by letting a cracker suddenly go off in a dark room giving one person an episode of actual chest pain. Memorizing your talk by heart is best, while reading off a teleprompter or something least effective. Since memorizing may not be possible always, a more practical approach is to have some bullet points before you as you speak. If you are asked or you decide to use multimedia, you may consider PowerPoint amongst other options. Keep your slides and their contents to a minimum. Use simple fonts and color schemes. Black on white is good. Use figures and diagrams sparingly but effectively. Never add anything to a slide if you don't want to talk about it. People will most certainly focus on that part of the slide, especially if you ask them not to. Practice makes perfect. While taking a shower or lying in bed or anywhere, visualize yourself presenting. Picture yourself on stage and notice some jaws dropping. Let the loud applause of your audience and your brilliant performance flash before your eyes. Visualizing success makes success more likely. Rehearse repeatedly under real-life conditions. Imagine as if you were actually presenting. Record yourself to observe your performance. It pays to have someone give you feedback. Get a good night's sleep to be well rested for your presentation. When you are at it, take care of A, B, C. Anxiety, body language and confidence. 
Being a little nervous is natural and may even be good. However, beyond a certain healthy point, stress negatively affects your performance. Preparing and practicing well helps decrease stress. Other people cannot see your anxiety in its naked form as you do. So stop worrying about people watching you and relax. Use body language to your advantage. Posture, eye contact, smiling and hand gestures all make a difference. To sound convincing, you must look confident. Remain assertive and composed instead of being timid and meek. Refrain from self-defeating or apologetic remarks. Good luck!